to. Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl. Today we have a different kind of video. What we're going to do is go over some of the purchases I've made for future tutorials and kind of a mini shopping haul for things that I purchased for videos and whatnot. So that way you can help me decide on which project you want to see for our Friday video. So to go ahead and get in, um, I went to our local dollar store, the one in Bird City. Um, we have two that are pretty close to us. Bird City's about 20 miles away. Um, the one in Port Arthur is about five miles away. I typically prefer to go to the one in Bird City. It's a lot nicer and cleaner. Um, like when I go to the Port Arthur one, everything's in disarray. There's nothing on the shelf. So I tend to go to the one in Bird City. Um, I will try to link things in the description box, but kind of like with the red tinsel stockings, I found that at those at the Port Arthur uh, Dollar Tree. So they weren't available online. So I'll tell you what I purchased and we'll see where to go from there. So first thing I purchased, which I'm going to personalize for my kids for Christmas to put in their stockings, are these three double walled Aladdin mason jar cups. I like that they are insulated and trying to find things to put in a 10 year old, a 15 year old, and a 17 year old stocking is almost darn near impossible. And cups, I don't know, we probably own 50,000 freaking cups, but we can never find them. So getting them something like that that's useful. And then it has a lid so if the dogs knock them over because they, we have a sectional in our living room. So we only have end tables on the end. So when they sit in the center, they will take and set these on the floor and we have dogs and cats. We have three dogs, two cats. They're all rescues. Bella, our oldest, is 15 years old. She is a dachshund. Then we have Stevie who is 10 years old and is a dachshund. And then we have Layla who is six years old and she's supposed to be a chihuahua, but she's more chihuahua. I don't see any weenie in her. Then we have our two cats, Sophie which we got in August of last year, and then Allie, which came home in May of last year. So we have a lot of pets. So I'm gonna personalize these for them, so that way whenever the lids aren't on them, they know whose cup is whose. Because if not, they will fight over it. So we'll go ahead and set those out of the way, but I thought they were super cute, and they seem like they're made well. Another thing that I purchased at the Dollar Tree is, and I haven't pulled the staples out of this yet, I absolutely adore this tree skirt. And again, we have animals. We used to do a real tree before we got the cats, but because we have cats, I don't do a real tree, um, but they still get messes on the tree skirt. So I figured this would be something cute to personalize to put under the tree, and with it being only a dollar, I don't mind if they mess it up. It's not like I'm buying a 40, another $40 tree skirt. Another thing that I purchased, which I will do probably for my sister-in-laws for Christmas, is I bought these glass cutting boards at the Dollar Tree. Again, they're only a dollar. Love the size of them. And if you want to see a video on those, let me know. What else did I purchase at the Dollar Tree? Oh, these. I got my kids for Christmas trying to again find things that are affordable to give to a 10 year old, 15 year old, and 17 year old. Oh my goodness, they're getting so old. Um, that they'll enjoy is almost impossible. I found at Best Buy on Black Friday the Amazon seven inch tablets for $29. So if they mess them up, it doesn't hurt my feelings for that type of price range. And so I bought these at the Dollar Tree. They're just neoprene covers to slide them in and I'm gonna put their names on each of them again so there's no confusion. Because especially with the youngest one, he's kind, you've met Cameron on camera lots of times. He is kind of a bossy kid. He's a lot like me. He's very type A personality. So if he doesn't know for sure that it's not his, it's his kind of thing, especially with his brother and sister. And with them being so much older, they've kind of babied him. So that's where we're at. Another thing I'm super excited about that I purchased at the Dollar Tree is I found these glass bowls, which I've seen all over Facebook, people making snowmen out of them. And uh, I bought four of them. They're separate. So I figured those would be super cute to make the snowmen out of that you paint. And 
I really liked that idea. And I bought to go to make the hat and the scarf. Give me a second to think about it. These socks, and I bought two different kinds. They only had these in kids, but I think that they'll work to make a hat or scarf. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to go super modern and kind of fun and trendy by using these or if I wanted to go more traditional by using these. So I have both of those. Again, the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I love the Dollar Tree. What else did I purchase? Oh, I also bought these kitchen towels, which I absolutely love the pattern. And I like that they're not a thick fluffy terry. I think those would look super cute personalized. I bought four of the plain red pot holders. I bought two of, which is a set, of the plaid ones. And then I bought the oven mitts and the plaid, which I figured those would make a super cute Christmas gift. I'm not sure who for yet. Libby's getting married, so maybe for her. I need to find out what colors, but things like that. So inexpensive items that you can make look a whole lot more expensive when you personalize them. I bought two of these candle holders as well. Again, Dollar Tree. And I bought two of these to go on top because I wanted to make a new centerpiece for the table. So I figured I could E6000 these on top and glitter them and make them super cute to go on top of my table at the, my house. So if you like that idea, let me know. And then there's a few other random things that I bought at the Dollar Tree, which I'm not sure. Like this and this I bought there. I loved this fluted glass. And they were a dollar each. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it yet. But they're super cute. And I love clear glass, like for the holidays and things like that. And then I also purchased microfiber towels. That's what I use to wash off my makeup. So these are a dollar for a four pack. So that makes them 25 cents each. I go through these, especially, I mean, I bleach them, but after, you know, 10 or so washes, they're no good anymore. So for that price point, I mean, it gets all this off my face. And then I found these eyelashes to drop, try. I bought two sets. They are from Diamond Cosmetics. And I think this style is 98658. These aren't like cute, expensive lashes that have an adorable name. But I liked that the lash band on these is a little bit thinner because I wear lashes most days. I'm not wearing them today, but I do wear them most days. I'm gonna try to go after I get off today and go get my eyebrows threaded. My husband's Christmas party's on Saturday. And I don't know about you, but for me, whenever I know there's an event coming out like that, I try to put off like going to get my eyebrows done or my nails done or whatever till last minute so it's as fresh and neat as possible. So I need to go get those done. I, I don't do waxing anymore, not after my experience getting my eyebrows waxed and I have a video on that where they like ripped off the skin all the way around my eyebrows. And makeup, thank God, is good at covering it because I have some scarring from it. Then I also found these makeup wipes. They're by Global Beauty Care. I go through some makeup wipes because typically when I get home from work, I take and wipe my makeup off. Now I don't wash my face, but I get most of the makeup off because if I don't, Layla will lick it off anyway. I mean, if you see me on the evenings, I look crazy because if I don't have, if I still have makeup on, I'm normally missing makeup from all around this area because she can't stay out of my face and my dogs are my babies. So it, you don't like dogs licking you. I'm sorry, but they're my babies, so I like my babies. But I got those. They have retinol in them, so I figured I'd try those to see if there's a least a less expensive type because I mean I use good skincare, I use good makeup. I mean I do have drugstore and stuff like that, but if I can save money on something like that that's just kind of wipe off and throw away, then we'll try it. And then now on to Target. Now I've already taken the label off of this and I buy a lot at the dollar spot at Target, but I found this bag, it was $3 at the dollar spot and I'm in love with the Buffalo plaid. As you can tell, I'm all into plaid this year. Um, be perfect to put a Christmas gift into. So I'll personalize that, but for $3, that's a great size gift bag. And it's something that you can 
you know, once you give it to someone, like if you give it for a kid, they can take and reuse it, or you can just put a cute little saying on it, and it can be regifted and regifted. It's not gonna tear up like your traditional paper bag. If it costs, unless you're buying your bags at the Dollar Tree, that costs about the same as what you're gonna pay for a bag over at Hobby Lobby. So, now I went to Walmart after that. We did a lot of Christmas shopping. I am pretty much yeah, I think I'm third Christmas shopping. I think I've gotten everybody bought for that I need to buy for other than like we have my PTA Christmas parties and stuff like that. But I mean, other than that. But at Walmart, I found these glass, they're not glass, they're plastic, but they look like light bulbs. And I have five of them because every year me and Jeremy and the kids make new ornaments that go on the Christmas tree. And again, we have pets. So... I had to get something plastic and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do them yet but I thought they were a cute shape and something a little bit different so I was excited for those and I also bought some of the flower sack tails they had them on sale I think for five five dollars for five of them these I love to decorate and change with the seasons or with different holidays and things like that and hang them on my stove it's a cute cheap easy way to change out decor in your house and then if they get messed up they're not expensive so it doesn't hurt like i don't know about you but it, it nothing bothers me more than if i spent good money on something and it gets messed up and typically in my household if things get messed up they get messed up pretty quickly and i am cheap when it comes to certain things like i don't like to spend a lot on shirts because i make most of them i don't like to spend a lot on jeans i don't like to spend a lot on those types of things i will spend good money on purses i will spend good money on shoes because those will last you for years i will spend good money on makeup because i feel like anything that's going on my skin i want to make sure i'm putting the best so that way I don't look super old and I'm vain in that way but you know for certain things like for household good especially for trendy items I don't want to spend a fortune because I know how I am I'm gonna want to change it in five minutes or at least that's what my husband thinks so that's my philosophy on it and then last but not least for my nephew Aubrey and my niece Brittany I purchased these fleece throws at Walmart um I'm going to personalize them for their Christmas gifts and there's this one that has an elephant print and then they have this one that has owls and foxes which is super duper cute but for me it's they were two dollars and fifty cents they're not on sale they have a ton of them in stock I don't think you can order them online but if you go to your local Walmart they have big old boxes that have those in there if you've got a lot of kids to buy for that's a great little gift that you can just add a name to and give it as a gift or white elephant Christmas or for Christmas parties where you have like, oh, you need to give a gift, but you have a $5 limit. Like before I got into the crafting world and like I would have Christmas parties or whatever and they wanted to do gift exchanges and they would be like, oh, you have a $5 limit. I'm like, What on earth can you buy for $5? That seemed like no money at all. But now that I craft, I'm like, oh, I can make that for less. So I'm hoping that it inspires y'all too. But remember, leave in the comments down below which items you are wanting to see first. Um, we're gonna kinda go in order, see which ones get the most votes so that way we can personalize as we go. Um, remember that we will be doing the scrap box drawing on December the 4th. The last day to enter will be on December the 1st. Um, if you go ahead and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, I post about videos on Instagram and Twitter. Snapchat, I really need to get more into using, but I just don't have a lot of time in my life other than when I'm doing this kind of stuff. At least I feel like it's kind of boring. And then I post a lot on Facebook, at least on my Facebook business page. And as far as if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you hit that little bell icon next to it that will notify you when we post new videos so if you have any questions leave them down below go ahead and give this video a thumbs up sharing is caring and thanks and y'all have a great day